Hi, this is a unique video on my channel because it does not follow the traditional pseudo video essay format that the rest of my content does. Instead, this is a behind the scenes video on the more parking using Urban Renewal to rebuild City 17 video. And to fit the theme, I've put some City Skylines gameplay in the background. So grab some snacks, kick your feet back, just relax. Let's talk about how this video was made. Most videos on my channel go through a one to two week development process, from conception to publication on YouTube. There have been more and more exceptions to this standard, but usually the development time doesn't really exceed this. However, in the case of more parking and the Have a Descendancy Protocol video, these took months to truly materialize. I've been uploading content consistently for the better part of around eight months now, and this was actually supposed to be one of my earlier videos. Everything then was great, Except that one. For context, I use a Trello with every single video planned for development or videos that I would eventually like to work on. For the longest time, I wanted to make a video about using Urban Renewal to not transform City 17, but instead use it to transform a Minecraft village. I never ended up making it because at the time I was prioritizing the production of shorts about true and completely real gaming content. When I decided to finally write the video, I still intended to make it in Minecraft. It would have followed a pretty similar premise. A Minecraft village located near a highway has no connection to it, and it's missing out on things like big box stores and strodes. So the roads would be widened, a highway connection would be built, maybe there'd be some new big box stores, and a series of other structures like apartment buildings and parking lots would be erected as well. Built. That's a better word, but we're, yeah. It got along pretty far, but consistent performance issues and issues with actually building the structures like the highway proved to be really more trouble than it was worth, and it just wasn't enjoyable, so I scrapped the project. Then, not long after that, I decided to revive it in the Source Engine, and that's when the idea appeared in my mind. While the video is reasonably short and fairly straightforward, there was a series of ideas and bits that were either conceived or actually recorded that just never made it in. And with some things in the video, I've seen comments about, how did you do this? So, let's go through the video bit by bit. The whole video is composed of multiple maps, but primarily seven custom-built maps. Five for the actual phase of each City 17 development, one for the Ravenholm train station, and one for a modified City 17 train station. Breen was originally not supposed to die, instead he was supposed to be coerced by the Mantis Men into doing their bidding. The video was originally written to have a much more political aspect to it, with council meetings, protests about developments, and more realistic scenarios when you're essentially demolishing an entire city in real life. However, like a lot of things in the original version of the video, it was overly complicated and made the video unnecessarily long. There was actually a second cut opening where a lightsaber battle between Dr. Breen and a cut character called The Planner would take place. He was essentially just me, but with a more narrative tone, and the video was more first-person-ish, but with a narrative overlay. The bit with the train carrying the machinery into City 17 took way too long, and here's why. One thing you're going to notice with a lot of the stuff in this video is that I spend way too much time on things that show up for less than 10 seconds. The train used here is from CBH's Trains, which is a fairly realistic train add-on, I think. In order for the train to actually work, Work, I had to edit the train station map and extend this stone wall and buildings in the background to allow for enough space to have the train locomotive and its two cars actually fit in the station. And honestly, it didn't even work properly because I had to use thrusters to actually move them into the station. I also had to remove a huge portion of the map just to be able to compile and run the map quickly so I could actually get it to work properly because I had to move the rails that the train was on multiple times in and out to try and find the correct spacing. Supposedly there was props to be able to do that, but I didn't really figure that out. The spreadsheet was planned to be a much more direct part of the video. What I mean by this is there was actually going to be even more specific details about the budget, such as daily rentals for specific excavators, backhoes, you get the picture. I even had a friend of mine who works at a hardware and rental store to send me daily rental rates for specific types of machinery. And as you might guess, this was a bit too complicated to develop and it was just kind of unnecessary, so I decided to scrap the whole bit because it made an already unnecessary and overcomplicated bit crazier than it needed to be. Oh yeah, and fun fact, there are actually 690 workers in the spreadsheet, each with varying salaries. So all of the budget stuff is accurate, but you know, it's also not realistic, obviously. I mean, honestly, I'm impressed that the Mantis men were able to rebuild the entirety of City 17 without even a billion dollars, compared to a real life project like The Big Dig, which costed nearly $22 billion. The Mantis men have some great finance people. For all we know though, the entire city could be constructed of asbestos. I don't 
actually have the stats on that, so maybe the sequel video will shine some light onto the long-term effects of this project. The parking garage bit was a replacement for an actual parking garage that I mapped in completely. There's already a bit in the video where I actually explained why the parking garages were cut. It was just the map would not compile because the parking garage was just such a horrible mishap of bad brushes, bad texturing, and just terrible optimization in general. And you know, then again, this map was never intended for public release, hence why it's just awful. The lawyer scene with these two guys was really annoying to set up because most of the animations available for these guys didn't really look natural. In fact, this was one of the few scenes that actually used an animation tool specifically. Other scenes with NPC interactions were actually automated, to my surprise. And while I'm not sure what add-on specifically does this, it's probably a combination of Z-Base and the Black Mesa Human NPCs mod. The City 17 redevelopment offices were partially mapped in. Outside of the map with the widened roads, you can actually find it just sitting there. Though most of the buildings are from the Consolidated Buildings pack and just added in Gmod itself. The collapsing pillar was annoying because I had to set it up two times because the NPCs broke the scaffolding in the original setup and caused the bombs to detonate prematurely. The second setup, as seen in the video, also nearly failed because it failed to destroy the scaffolding as quickly as intended. Though, quite honestly, it's funnier when it doesn't really obey the laws of physics and the area explodes for some reason. The suburbs were cut not because of the quote-unquote cost, but just because mapping a huge stretch of suburbs would be really annoying. Hell, it took me weeks to make the maps already used in this video. If I had modeled the suburbs, this would have taken probably like a year or something. If I ever did fully flesh out the map and release it on the workshop, it probably would have the suburbs. But though at that point, I might as well just make an RP map from scratch, given that the final version of the City 17 Urban Renewal Project shows very little of the original city. The first demolition part in Phase 2 was actually also a second take. In fact, I actually recorded the first take, which is where Gary's mod bling, crashes. Bling, bling, bling. Probably because behind that wall was a couple dozen debris props that decided to devour my CPU. The subway crash bit was also a second recording because the first one turned out like this. By the way, I want to give a shout out to the Metrostroy mod, which I may be pronouncing it correctly. Metrostroy. This was actually fascinating to learn about because it's a fully fudged subway mod for Gary's mod, like fully fudged. And I really do mean that. There's like a million controls in each car, and I just spent half an hour going over a YouTube tutorial to try and get them to work. I failed, so I just used thrusters instead. I just, I just feel like pressing WASD is just a better way to do this. I don't, geez, I sure hope there's no one at the end of this tunnel. What's more fascinating about this mod is that there are multiple Gmod servers for it, so it's seemingly a big thing in what I assume is Russia. The bit with the train at the end was not intentional, but I thought it was really funny. The race was actually fully prepared originally. There was supposed to be a full two minute high action segment. There were props and wire mod events across the entire map, but the game crashed during filming. So I had to substitute a couple hours worth of setup for just a random explosion. It frustrated me so much, as did basically everything else in this video. You can actually tell that it changed because the last second before the bomb drops, you can tell the cars are in different positions, some are missing, and there's NPCs now, whereas the rest of the shots are different if you look closely. Well. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this, well, fourth wall break of sorts where you have gotten to see a bit of a glimpse into how my videos are actually made. But here's the thing, you gotta subscribe and stay tuned because I'm finally trying to commit to a schedule. And you know, I always say this, literally every video I always say this, but I've got some very, very cool stuff coming down the line. See, some of you doubted me, but was I wrong? Like, were you sitting there thinking, hmm, I wonder what the next Moabun upload is going to be, and it happens to be a video about using Urban Renewal to revitalize City 17? And a lot of the comments corroborate that this is an absolutely insane video, and you're not wrong. So I really hope that is enough incentive to subscribe and stay around, because, hey, again, we got some cool, cool stuff coming down the line, and you are not going to want to miss it. Peace out.